Hey everybody, it's Dan here uh, with my adventures in home brewing and uh, Dog Hair Brewing Company. Um, it's been a while since I've done a brewing video, so here we go. Uh, I gotta say thank you to Escarpment Laboratories for um, picking up my podcast as a sponsor. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using their limited edition cream ale yeast and I'm going to be making my very first uh, guess light beer I ever did on my rubber brew when I first got it which is a blueberry cream meal yeah some people might be wondering what the hell are you doing making a blueberry cream meal my my answer is why not so yeah we've got about what three pounds worth of uh, turo three pounds worth of marisada half a pound of car pills uh, half a pound of uh, corn half a pound of rice uh, there's probably something else in there that I'm forgetting, but we'll figure it out along the way. But if you really want to know what's going on, check out the recipe that's over here, and uh, I'll lead you along the way. And also, check out these guys over here at Escarpment Laboratories for uh, anything that they have up and coming. Um, so, let's get in. All right, guys. So we've started the the mash is done. It's done. Been mashing in for an hour. Um, right now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our sparging. I've already started it. As you can see, the malt pipe is already up, uh, and you probably hear it. It's draining really, really well. So I got to keep up here. So I'm using a sparge watery heater that I have. Um, I, I fill it up to the max because I want to try and get about between five and a half, six gallons worth of liquid uh, inside of this. Because you do lose some um, of your water uh, that you use to do everything in the actual, whoops, there we go, in the actual boil. Oh, huh, what happened there? Excuse me for a sec. All right, so we gotta do a quick little fix. So this usually happens sometimes that you, you make a mistake and the best thing to do is fix it. Always have a pair of these gloves on hand because they always come in handy. You never know when you're gonna need them. Top screen. All right, problem solved. Let's get back to doing our spurge. Hey everybody, so brew day is done. Uh, a little bit of video was done. I'll be putting in some still images along the way uh, to show you what we, what we did. Um, yeah, so it, it went really well today other than overloading my circuit box in the house, but that's par for the course for me. Um, yeah, so things went really well. Uh, it drained beautifully, it's beautiful color. The, the puree I get from aseptic uh, fruit, fruit purees, fantastic guys. Um, also, the guys at Escarpment Laboratories, uh, I used uh, your uh, cream ale blend yeast. It is in the fermenter right now. And it's oh, I only pitched it maybe a half hour, 45 minutes ago, and it's already starting to ferment. It's already activated. It's awesome. So yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, I'll do a little updates here and there along the way. And also, um, check out Escarpment Laboratories. They're fantastic guys. Uh, Escarpment Laboratories.com or .ca, I'm not sure, but 
the other one will work. Check them out on uh, Instagram. I believe they have Twitter. They have uh, Facebook. Uh, check them out. Lots of cool stuff. Also, they do have some new blends out. Uh, new yeast blends or strains that we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to be doing a Berliner. Or we're going to be using a Lactic Magic. Uh, I believe I think we're going to make a Hellas Lager and use the uh, Beer Garden Lager uh, pitch. And then I have another uh, Cerveza to make. Uh, but that might get put on the back burner, and I might try something a little different because I, I have a, a bag of crispy that I want to uh, yeast that I want to use as well. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, stay tuned for updates along the way. Catch you around.